Hi, and welcome to this ProTracker tutorial. My name is Alex, but I'm better known as Wasp of the Amiga Demo Group's Powerline in Pacific. In these episodes I will try to explain the different effect commands one by one to get you tracking as quickly as possible, or maybe just learn some new tricks from what you already know. First I will assume you already know what hexadecimal numbers are, as they are quite essential here in ProTracker. Feeling uncomfortable? Don't worry, there is no math here. Just be aware that numbers go from 0 through FF and not 0 through 255. So when I say 30, I'm actually referring to the decimal number of 48. Although ProTracker 3.15 is usually my weapon of choice, I'll do this tutorial in ProTracker 2.3D, since it's what I consider to be the demo scene standard. With a few buggy exceptions, the commands are all the same in later versions anyway. What you have in front of you is actually a clone made by 8-bit Bubsy. It's available for both Mac and for Windows, and I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put these episodes in the order I think you'll want to learn these 15 commands to be able to start tracking as quickly as possible. As you can see, the E command is last, and it's quite extensive, so I'll probably just cover it briefly in this tutorial. Alright, let's do this! First you need something to work with, like a sound or a module, and these can be loaded through the disk up dialog like this. This will look slightly different on Amiga, but these two buttons, load module and load sample, will still be there. I'll go ahead and load a sample from the ST01 sample disk called ePiano, and since this is the Windows and Mac version, I'll get the question if I want to load it as a RAW file. You won't get this question on Amiga, but this time I'm going to answer yes, because it is a RAW file, and exit the dialog like this. And to have a look at the sample you just loaded, you can click the sampler button like this. This is how ePiano looks, and to exit this window, just click exit or the escape button. You play the sample using your keyboard like a piano keyboard. You have three octaves to work with, where C in the first octave is the lowest note you can use, and B in the third octave is the highest note you can use. But never ever use B3, I'll tell you more about this in a later episode. The Q key on your keyboard is the note C3. It sounds like this. The Z key on your keyboard is the note C2, it sounds like this. And to reach the lower octave you need to press the F1 key. Now Q is C2 and Z is C1. To go back up to the higher octave you press F2. To insert notes in the tracks you need to be in edit mode. You click the edit button, the pointer is now blue and you're ready to rock. To stop editing you click the stop button. Now you can just play again. But these two buttons are not very practical. The spacebar however is, so the hotkey for edit and stop is the spacebar. Notice how the pointer changes color. To navigate between the tracks you can use your arrow keys to go right and left, or you can just jump from track to track with your tab key. And to go up or down, well, I'll let you figure this one out yourself. Alright, so let me go down to the bottom here, because every one of these four tracks is 64 rows long. It goes from 0 through 63, and now for some reason we're talking decimal numbers. And a chunk of four tracks is called a pattern. And up here you can see the current pattern, it's pattern number 0. And here is the position of the song where pattern 0 is played. And the length of the song is 1. We have only one pattern. Let me explain this by opening the position editor. So this left number is the position of the song and the right number is the number of the pattern. So if I insert another position of the song here, ProTracker will first play pattern 0, then jump to position 1 and play pattern 0 again, unless I change it. So I can change it up here to 1, now ProTracker will play pattern 0 first, then jump to position 1 and play pattern 1, which should be an empty pattern. Let me show you. I'll exit and go back to the first position of the song and hit play. And now we wait. And hopefully the next pattern will be empty. So, now you have two patterns to work with. 
And uh, that's pretty much it for this quick introduction to ProTracker. Thank you for watching and please leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you in episode 1.